published 1730 EDT, 1 October 2017 Updated 1816 EDT, 1 October 2017 Arsene Wenger celebrated 21 years as manager of Arsenal with a piece of cake victory and a new name for his ever-increasing list of Premier League victims. Wenger has now beaten 45 different teams in the competition, one more than Sir Alex Ferguson, and, in truth, Brighton did not offer too much resistance. Nacho Monreal and Alex Iwobi scored the goals, and three points eased Arsenal further from the wreckage of a crushing defeat at Liverpool and accompanying prophecy of doom, which prefaced last month's break for international football. Arsenal's clash with Brighton marked manager Arsene Wenger's 21st year at the Helmer last international break was a nightmare, said Wenger. This one is a bit better. I would love to continue to play. I knew that after the game in Liverpool everybody would write us off, and I knew it just depended on us how much we responded. We responded in a united way and have put some wins together and some good performances as well. Since a shaky start to the campaign in the Anfield debacle, Arsenal have three wins and a creditable draw at Chelsea from four league games. All without conceding a goal and mostly without Mesut Ozil, who was absent again with a slight knee injury. Nacho Monreal's goal helped see off Brighton. The 45th team Wenger has beaten Wenger's team trail six points behind Manchester's passes but an air of respectability is back and restless natives have been quelled for the time being. Less than a minute had passed when Alex Lacazette shook the frame of the Brighton goal from 25 yards. Alexis Sanchez was unable to turn the rebound on target. Goalkeeper Matt Ryan then denied Sanchez and Iwobi before Monreal scored a rare goal. When Brighton failed to clear a free kick, delivered from wide by Granite Saka. Sunday's win over Brighton means Wenger has now beaten more teams than Sir Alex Ferguson Lacazette stretched to ensure Zaka's ins Wenger did not drift out of play, with a header back into the goal mouth, where Shkodran Mustafi's attempt was cleared by Shane Duffy. Hector Bellerin picked up the ball and went for goal, but his effort was blocked and fell for Monreal who turned it through a crowd and into the net on the half volley with his right foot. Brighton claimed the ball had gone out of play before Lacazette's header, but manager Chris Hewton, having seen a replay, admitted referee Kevin Friend and his team got it right. For Monreal, it was a first goal in the Premier League for more than Ferranda of years. After 40 Liverpool loss Arsenal have rallied to make it three wins, and a draw since the route's only March hit a post with a sweet effort from a short free kick, but the more adventurous Brighton became the more vulnerable they were at the back. In truth, they rarely looked like taking anything from the game. Aaron Ramsey ought to have scored a second before halftime as Arsenal defend a corner and sprung into a dangerous counter-attack. Ryan stuck out his right foot to foil Ramsey, but was beaten by Iwobi soon after the interval. Sanchez created the opening with a back heel and Iwobi converted. Arsenal have won their last 11 games at the Emirates in all competitions, their second longest run since they won 12 in 2009. It shows the skill he has, said Iwobi. He's capable of doing anything. To have eyes in the back of his head and back heel to me was amazing. The clever assist sparked a burst of activity from Sanchez, who had buzzed and flickered without appearing to be at full throttle. At his best, the Chilean can seize a game and shake it into a different shape. Here, he decorated the fringes with nice touches but never more. Still searching for his first Premier League goal since the summer of discontent, Sanchez was frustrated by a Lewis Donk clearance and Ryan save. Perhaps his interest will be revived as Arsenal climb towards the business end of the table. Wenger says the international break has come at the wrong time for an informed Arsenal.